It's game on. The Vikings looking for an early present while on another big business trip for the second straight week. A member of the D talks border battle. You remember pro hockey? Many fans may have moved on, but what is the issue right now? Our hockey insider scrapes the ice. Soccer's new side will show up this year. We're talking kicks with the new owners of the Stars FC. And our fantasy football guru is back to set your rosters on game day. It's time to get your game on. Play action on the second down as Potter throws, and it's picked off by Chris Conte. The hope is it can't get any worse than last weekend in Chicago. If the Vikings are serious about their playoff aspirations, a W is necessary, and the tough road continues as it winds the purple through Green Bay. The Vikings won't be back here at the Metrodome until the weekend when the Bears return for their second meeting in three weeks. Good to be with you again. Rod Simons on Game On from the Dakotas to downtown Minneapolis. We're talking Vikings and the roller coaster that is their season. We got soccer on our plate, NHL work stoppage as well, and our fantasy guru. But we always start Game On by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, we see the Vikings have lost four straight and eight of their last 12 to the Packers. Vikings will get the Packers twice in the last five weeks of the season. Vikings have their hands full, folks. Green Bay's going to air it out. Aaron Rodgers, 28 touchdowns and only seven interceptions this season. And more on last year's MVP versus Minnesota in 2011. 585 yards, seven touchdowns, and no interceptions. Now the Vikings. You think you're miserable? Upset? A little perturbed by the purple? Nobody beats the players in terms of being frustrated and angry about their performance. Mr. Raymond on the Packers weekend. After reviewing the play, the runner was down, knees were down, with possession of the ball, second down and seven. Have you been able to put the Bears game out of your mind and focus squarely on the Green Bay Packers? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the way this business is set up, you know, you don't, one thing you don't have is time to reflect. Uh, you know, whether it's a, whether it's a big win or, or a devastating loss, you know, because when you come in Monday, you watch that film, you get it out of the way, you take Tuesday off, you know, relax your mind. And when you come to the office Wednesday, you know, there's a game plan book laying on your desk and there's a new team's helmet on it and you just got to move forward. It's green and gold. You don't need anybody telling you that Aaron Rodgers has taken snaps. You've, you've had a couple of games against him. You guys know how tough it's going to be against the Packers. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a challenge that we're always up for. Uh, you know, we, we wouldn't want it any other way, you know, we, we like to earn earn our keep in this in this business and uh, we, you know, I, I've been fortunate enough to play with some guys who are really passionate about what they do and, uh, you know, this is one of the games, you know, you don't have to tell the guys to get hyped for. When you came in as a rookie and you learned more about the Vikings, how much did you learn that this Packer-Viking game meant like the world to thousands and thousands of people. You know, uh, I actually didn't have to wait until I until I came in to, to really realize what was going on here. You know, I grew up really just studying the game of football, and so I knew I knew when I came in, that, you know, what what's expected of us. You know, when it comes time to play Green Bay. We were talking about this before the cameras rolled, and you you mentioned how special it is to be in Lambeau. It is really a different setting. And your feet are on that turf, yeah. see, playing in front of all those people. Yeah, I remember my first time going into that stadium. You know, I just remember uh, just feeling like we were we were lost in, in, in the middle of some cornfields or something. And then you make a make a right and make a left, and, and there it is. There it you is. know, uh, and it, it's just a it's a it's a hostile environment for any opponent to come into. Um, and it just it's just a great place to play, man. Those fans that are passionate about their about their guys, and uh, it just it just makes it all that much more fun. Okay, let's uh, let's cut right to the chase and and just ask you a couple of quick questions about this t football team. A lot of people, and you smiled when I told you this too. A lot of people have already counted you out, but you guys are having nothing to do with that. Uh, not at all, man. It's, 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 it's not what we do. You know, we don't uh, uh, we don't make predictions, and we don't we don't. We don't write the the spread and all that stuff, you know. We just uh, we, we just put the work in, and on game day, you know, we come out and we, we try to perform at a level that you know succeeds our opponent. You get Percy back in the lineup. You get AP doing his thing. You get a few defensive uh, turnovers, forced turnovers. Things could really go your way. The, the defense can make things really click. 
Yeah, and that's, I think that's the way that uh, we, as a defensive unit, I think that's the way we look at it, you yeah. know, is that, that our team goes as far as we take us. You know, you have a guy on the other side like Adrian Peterson, you can't tell him any different. You know, he, he, he's that guy that, that, wants to, that wants to work low and, uh, you know, he, he wants to make, make, make things work and make those things happen for our offense. And, you know, when you get, get both sides thinking like that and then you put our special teams unit out on the field, you know, it all starts to work together, you know, we can have something special. We remember three and thirteen, and already things are all already looking up. Going to Green Bay and get a W would be awesome. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, it's going to be big for us, and you know, in the overall perspective of what we're trying to get done and trying to get accomplished here. And you know, we know that you know everything we talked about in the, in the off season and you know from training camp, you know, all that stuff is still right in front of us. You know, we just got to go out and, and, and just capture the moment. Mr. Raymond is the man. Thank you for being with us. And I thank Happy you. holidays, too. Happy holidays to you, too. Thank you so much. Only here on Game. We've made it easier for you to get your game on. Download our new Game On app available for your iPhone and Android, too. You're going to find shows, links, all kinds of cool pictures, great stuff. And don't forget, get to our website for updates, blogs, and we link you to our partner site, which is purplepride.org. So check us out, gameontvmn.com. Ahead on Game On, we're all over the Metro. We'll get to the Guthrie to talk stars and give you your latest soccer news. But next, let's get an update on the NHL. When will the Wild be back on the ice? Our insider tells us on Game On. Bud Light, the official beer of NFL fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. Hi, I'm Christian Ponder with the Minnesota Vikings. I know how important it is to fuel up so that I can be successful on and off the field. As a partner with the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 programs, I am proud to encourage all of my fellow NFL players to do our part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need to learn and play at their best. Go to tasteofthenfl.com and nfl.com to find out how you can help. Welcome to the team. Welcome back, it's Game On. Been dying to talk hockey. This man knows the game like nobody else. Brandon Molesky, the producer, fine producer at K-Fan Radio, one of their hidden talents. They don't use you enough. And, uh, I agree with you. I, I, you should I, be my agent. We'll work on that. And we're talking NHL. And you've been all over this uh, National Hockey League situation uh, since its uh, onset. Two lockouts in the last 10 years. Are we going to have a season? I think we're going to have a season. Obviously, at this point, it's a shortened season. Okay. The Winter Classic's gone. We already know the All-Star game's gone. You know, at this point, maybe you're playing 50, 60 games. Um, I, I don't know if you can have two lockouts in a span of eight, nine years uh, and expect the fans to kind of come back in full mm -hmm. force. I think they will here in Minnesota, but from a league-wide standpoint, uh, I, I think you're going to be in trouble having two lockouts in that close, mm -hmm. uh, close together. But I, and, and at this point, I think the players, they've already made concessions. I still think they're going to concede a little bit more because now they're starting to miss paychecks. You know, they've, they've missed three, four paychecks. You go another 15 days, it's five paychecks, another month, six paychecks. And now it's starting to hit them in the wallet, and I think they're going to start conceding here a little bit. I don't know if the owners are going to move much, but I think the players will, and I still think there will be a season here. Will it somewhere be around 50-50, you think? Yeah, I, and, and the players even come kind of close to 50-50, and I, I think actually on the 50-50 point, um, they're, they're pretty close on that, that point. Now it's other things going on that, the, that they're having to deal with, a bunch of little stuff, and. You know, it's two stubborn sides that are both paid to kind of work as best they can for their side, and eventually, oh. I think something's got to give in. With a lot of money involved. Oh, a ton of money. And, yep. and that's, that's the funny thing about being locked out back in 2004, 2005 season is, uh, they went from $2.2 billion making revenue to $3.3 billion. So, they locked out, they've made that much money since, and now we're back at the same spot. I get emails from fans all the time, and one of the, one of the top letters always says, the owners are the ones signing these players to these gigantic contracts. They're the ones now pulling back and locking out the players. Fans don't understand the logistics of this lockout. 
Well, yeah, it, it's funny, specifically here in Minnesota. Right. You had the owner, Craig Leopold, who went out and, and signed uh, 13 year deals to Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter for almost $100 million each. each yeah. And then the second they lock out, hey, well, I can't afford these big salaries. But, you know, it, you kind of had to do it at the spot they were. And he took the risk of, you know, if I spend this money on these two players, the team's going to be more successful. We're going to have more fans coming to the game, which has slipped here in Minnesota in the last couple of years. The attendance isn't the same as they used to be. And, because they're and, losing. Yes. Well, you know, and a lot of it is, is the NHL doesn't have the big television contract that can pay for a lot of their salaries. In the NFL, their, their TV contracts are so huge that they're, they're paying for their roster based just off of TV, whereas NHL is more dependent on attendance, and they, they pretty much need to have a full house every night uh, to make money, and that's why markets such as Phoenix and Nashville continue to struggle because they don't fill the stadium. And even the Wild here in Minnesota, um, they, they didn't have 18,000 people filling up their stadium all year last yeah. year. 12 to 3, you're with Common Monday through Friday? Yep, that is and correct. Is your hockey show on weekends? Yep, Beyond the Pond will start at the uh, the last Saturday in December here once the fantasy football season's over. We move nice. that out and we may go on to the hockey season. Hopefully we'll have some NHL to talk about. Go to the KFAN website, it's right there. You can learn more. You guys have a fan page, correct? Yep, show page. KFAN.com. Awesome. Tenna B, Brandon Molesky, in the house, only here. It's game on. Don't forget, keep up with the Wolves in the NBA with my weekly blog at Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. We'll keep you connected with all things inside the team. It's just part of a great NBA website. Drop me your thoughts, rod at GameOnTVMN.com, and look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday at Timberwolves.com. Before we're finished, we're taking you where very few Twins fans have ever been. But next, stars, soccer, only here on Game On. The Timberwolves Meal Deal presented by Papa John's is a great way to save money and watch Kevin Love, Brandon Roy, and Andre Kirilenko bring a playoff atmosphere back to Target Center. For just $25, you get an upper level ticket, a hot dog, chips, small Pepsi, and a coupon for a free large Papa John's pizza. Tickets are only available for purchase in advance of game day. To purchase your Meal Deal tickets, go to Timberwolves.com slash Meal Deal. The Minnesota Timberwolves, Wolves United. It starts your morning with a forecast, then watches your energy use all day. It can change your temperature from anywhere in the world, prevent you from heating and cooling an empty house, and still give you a comfortable welcome home. The iComfort Wi-Fi from Lennox. The most advanced comfort control solution available anywhere is now available for your home. So call Liberty Comfort Systems and make your home a smart home today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Game On moves across the metro to the beautiful Guthrie Theater, where a Christmas carol is playing right now, one of the beautiful architectural structures in the Twin Cities. We move from hockey and football to talking soccer. There is a lot of reason to be optimistic if you're a soccer fan because the game is here to stay. Dr. Bill McGuire is with us, Nick Rogers is with us. Great to have you gentlemen with us. Thanks thank for you. Having us, right? And thank you for stepping up and keeping this team here in the NASL, a very viable franchise. Biggest question is, why did you do it? <laughs> well, I mean, you stated it. Uh, it's uh, very viable. In fact, yes. better than viable. It's a great, a great team, a great pro soccer team. There's a long history, 20 plus years of soccer, pro soccer here. Yeah. Uh, this is a group of uh, players that have won the championship mm -hmm. a year ago. They were runner up in the shootout this past year. Mm -hmm. It's a great asset for the community. Soccer is biggest sport in the world, fastest growing sport in America. 130 plus million people interested. Uh, it should be here. It's fun to off camera to talk sports with these gentlemen because they're, they love all of it. They love their football, they love their basketball, and you love soccer. And, and Nick, when I talk to you about this, you're already rolling up your sleeves. You know what the landscape looks like and you know you've got some work to do. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, you know, we're really happy with sort of the culture that's emerged out of this club in the last two years. There's a really fantastic uh, supporters group, which you may have heard of, the Dark Clouds. Dark clouds. You know about the Dark Clouds? I just love the jerseys, by the way, and how they have the Dark Clouds on the bottom. It, it, they follow everywhere they go. Isn't that great? It uh, is. Our, uh, there's a guy, a player actually, player coach Kevin Friedland's responsible for that jersey. Yeah. He deserves a lot of credit. It's but, a beautiful thing. You know, the passion that our, our, the supporters of this club have in this town is really amazing, and, and we're really looking forward to building on that. 
If people are waiting on the Minnesota Vikings, there was a lot of talk during the stadium debate uh, about MLS soccer coming in and, 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 and that stepping up. But that's, it's got to be nine, ten years down the road. You guys are stepping up now to make this thing viable. Yeah, you know, I, I think the Vikings are, are focused on building their stadium, right. which, you know, I think that's going to require their full attention. And um, we're focused on the stars and the league they're playing in now. And, uh, and maintaining the success they've had over the last couple of years on the field and, and, and seeing what that can be. And, you know, the MLS is, is we're aware of the MLS, certainly, yeah. but that's not, you know, a priority for us right now. Yeah. Dr. McGuire, do you play and blame? Do you, have you figured out what the mix is? Do you, do you move it around or is that something that's kind of on the table? And it's a wide metro area. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, for sure, we're going to play and blame. Okay. Um, whether we play and blame all the time, I think, is a is the, the question and, and you hit it on the head. It's a big metro area, yeah. very significant. And a lot of the people that are very interested in soccer, for instance, are not proximate to blame. And mm -hmm. so uh, one of our challenges is to figure out where this team should play. How can we get it out there where people find the access? You know, one of the great things about this sport is $12 tickets, yeah. 10, 12 bucks. Family can go and a, have a great a family time. Family can have a great time yep. on a beautiful Minnesota evening yep. in the summer. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna look around and, and figure out and ultimately define things the, the best we can. We have a lot of STARS information. We link you to the STARS on our website, GameOnTVMN.com. Do you have a website that uh, people can be driven to for updates and information? MNStarsFC.com. Perfect. One more time. MNStarsFC.com. Perfect. So you can get all the information right at your fingertips and on your phone. Gentlemen, great to have you with us. Next week we'll be talking to uh, some of the players and some of the uh, other staffers who are going to help you in this effort to, to keep the stars viable and working long into the community. Thank you again for your time. Happy holidays. Thanks very much, Rod. Same to you. Thank you. Great Thank to have you here, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Talking stars soccer. Only here, it's game on. This is the, the vault of the bank. Oh, my goodness. On deck, the first of a two-part series taking you inside the Twins, a place few have ever been. All of these cabinets that you see here is the history of the Twins. Only here on Game On. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance are right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Twin City Wireless doesn't care about our competitors. We care about you, the customer. We care that you get the best prices. Plans starting at $40 a month, unlimited text, talk, international text, and internet. Twin Cities Wireless carries all the latest models of phones and accessories and handles all service providers. At Twin City Wireless, your problem is our problem. Twin City Wireless now has two locations, Brooklyn Center and Northeast Minneapolis. Twin City Wireless is not just business, it's personal. Welcome back to Metrodome, it's Game On. I'm Rod Simons, delighted to have you with us. You know, we've been talking a lot about football, but this also used to be the home of the Minnesota Twins before they moved across town to Target Field. And one of the constants between the Metrodome and Target Field is a guy most likely you've never met, perhaps never even thought of, but he's the guy that makes all the memories work for the Minnesota Twins. While memories are being made on the field, in the Target Field basement, Memories are being preserved. Do you ever consider this place your home away from home? Oh, it is. I don't consider it. When people say, do you work there? I said, no, I live there. Yeah. <laughs> Clyde Deppner is no ordinary employee. For 24 years, Clyde has made capturing Twins moments his life. All of these cabinets that you see here is the history of the Twins. Wow. If you played one inning, you have a file. So obviously Kirby Puckett has a lot of space. Rod Carew. Rod Carew has a lot, a lot of, space. of space. And then you get somebody that might have only been here a real short time, and they have a picture or two. Mm -hmm. That's, this is Harmon's file. 
this so is. So Harman's file is this thing. Yes, it is. Yep. Wow. This is the, the vault of the bank. Oh my goodness. The vault is a treasure trove where all the goodies are stored. Less than two groups have been in here. I, in other words, you'd be the third group that has ever been in here, and you're a group of four. Who has a key to this room? I do. Who else? Joe Polad could come in here if he wanted to, and, and people like that. Things come in all the time. I mean, this is the stuff that just blows me away. Uh, Fan gave us this. It was at a garage sale. Five bucks he bought it for. Mm -hmm. This is the, the screen printing that made the first Homer hanky. And it's still got the red ink from when they'd have to squeegee it over and print through coming out the back. It's amazing. Well, this is going to be a major display coming wow. up. You know, you do things like that. You could go back and say, where's Molitor? Where's Tory Hunter? Where's Ken Turbick's earliest stuff? All of those players We're are here. here. And so they're all listed. I mean, Puckett, you know, we've got 38 Puckett jerseys. The more the word gets out that the twins have a curator, the more stuff we get. Yeah, look at this. This we just bought. This is a banner from 65. And uh, this bunting. Is, it's kind of like this, a bunting banner. Yep, isn't this it? was from the World Series, and there's very few of these around. And this one's in, this is mint shape. This is white, and the, it hasn't crackled. And uh, somebody stepped up and wanted us to have this, and we made it happen. Eventually, all these memories make their way here so fans can see them up close and personally, so their memories are rekindled. You gotta get one pitcher. One pitcher is my favorite pitcher down here. It isn't that far away. This might be my favorite non kilobrew pitcher because it's Kirby Puckett when he weighed 183 pounds. Clyde's calling is simple. This is a labor of love. It's not about, if it, is it mine on this play? Is it the twins on this play? It's about who gets to see it. That's the whole idea. So with all this memorabilia, does Clyde have his favorites? Oh yeah. Okay, oh. now, now we get in sacred country. <laughs> if you have questions, or even better, memorabilia for Clyde, drop him a note. And next week, more goodies from the Twins Vault. Now, this is the best gig in the world. I always, you know, one thing, I, how are you doing tonight? Good. Time again for the Bud Light lineup. The Vikings get the Bears finally here on December 9th. The Wolves have Cleveland on the 7th. Go for basketball in North Dakota State and the Gopher women's basketball team against Denver. There's North Dakota on December 21st. A few days earlier, they'll visit North Dakota State, South Dakota State at Minnesota, and Iowa visits South Dakota. U of M men will play at Colorado College for two nights. St. Cloud State in Nebraska, Omaha. There's UND and North Dakota State. The Wild will be playing Chicago on the 18th if they weren't locked out. The Twins will get Detroit on their opener. The Champions Tour and The Swarm will open on January 26th. Don't forget, check out our podcast, Rod Webby and the A-Train, talking all things Game On and local sports. Latest information is available at GameOnTVMN.com. And that's your Bud Light line. On deck, it's back to the Guthrie for our fantasy update, only here on Game On. Linux is more than just a name. We lead the way in home comfort products. Our invention of the first forced air furnace back in 1895 changed the way America lives. Liberty Comfort Systems is a Linux premier dealer. That means they're trained and evaluated to meet the highest standards in the industry. Linux continues to lead with high efficiency technology and superior equipment. And it's all backed by Liberty Comfort Systems, some of the best people in the business. Linux, innovation never felt so good. Looking for a fun night out with the guys? Guys Night Out with the Minnesota Timberwolves presented by Coors Light is a great excuse to get the guys together and see all-star Kevin Love, Ricky Rubio, and Brandon Roy. For only $18, you'll get an upper-level ticket, a free beer, and an exclusive souvenir cup. Tickets are only available for purchase in advance of game day. For more information about Guys Night Out and to purchase your tickets, go to Timberwolves.com guys. It's Guys Night Out for just $18. The Minnesota Timberwolves, Wolves United. Welcome back, it's Game On at Metrodome. Not done talking football yet. We still have fantasy to talk about, so get your rosters out, and let's get back to the Guthrie with our guru, Jeremy Johnson. Okay, guru, 
final week of the regular season in fantasy football. Yes, it is. Get an email from a couple of viewers to say, Rod, how is the guru doing in each of his leagues? How many leagues you in? I'm in three leagues. Okay, let, let's let's give them what they want. How are you doing in your first league? Uh, first league, I'm actually seven and five. I'm currently a th number three seed, so it's a battle to possibly get into that two spot for a buy. Okay. Maybe a little extra cash in the pocket. Nice. Um, but there we have Cam Newton <clears throat> as my quarterback, uh, coming off a huge game on Monday, Monday night. Football. Against a horrible Eagles yeah. team. He had 37 fantasy points. Um, at that point, I didn't even need him to win my game, but right. I'm looking for him to do more of the same this week uh, against uh, Kansas City. You also have Arian Foster and Des Bryant. Yeah, Des Bryant uh, actually is a guy who I just picked up in a trade. and. Uh, I've been letting him know the, how well he's been doing for me of late. Your second league is interesting because there's a lot of Packers that you're going against this weekend. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's an extra reason to tune in and, and hate the Packers that much more. Uh, I'll be going against Aaron Rodgers. Uh, so no matter who he's throwing it to, that's not a good thing for me. Uh, but I'm also playing against uh, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb. Um, but I'll actually be throwing uh, Tom Brady yeah. as my quarterback. Uh, we also have Mar Marshawn Lynch, who's been a pretty good running back all year for fantasy owners. The Beast in Seattle, and what is your record in that second league? Uh, second league, I'm five and seven, and there I actually have the most points scored. Yeah. I'm the sixth seed, and if I lose, I might not make the playoffs, so yeah. it's kind of a tough pull to swallow. Okay, League Three, your record in what's cooking? Uh, league Three, I'm currently eight and four. I uh, got a firm grip on a, on a buy in, in, uh, in that one. And uh, it's with a bunch of high school buddies. I've been in that one for about 15, 16 years. Mm. Um, so we'll be throwing Drew Brees or Peyton Manning. Mm. Um, I leaned towards Peyton Manning this week yeah. uh, with the Thursday game for Drew Brees. And do you really have Steve Smith? I do, I do. I actually have him in a couple leagues. He'll probably be starting in, in both of them. Um, he's a guy who hopefully will rebound. Uh, he, he's only been putting up maybe 40, 50 yards a game, mm. but he's due for a big game. Right. And before we finish, you're working on a Game On Playoff Football Challenge. Yeah, it's actually going to be a chance for uh, all of those owners who didn't make their league's playoffs uh, to kind of get a fresh start and uh, a take on just the playoffs. So you're only picking from those teams who, who are uh, the Elite 12, so to speak. And so if people want to get back to you on the Game On Playoff Football Challenge, your Twitter handle is? It's at, at the Game On Guru. Perfect. And questions to Jeremy at GameOnTVMN.com. Guru, thank you once again. Yep. We'll be keeping an eye on you only here. On Game On. Time now for a Game On update. It's back. Kevin Love's fifth annual coat drive. Now through December 12th, Love is inviting fans to bring new and gently used coats to any of the eight metro area drop off locations. That includes the Target Center box office and Comcast service centers. Please, let's help those in need with the Kevin Love coat drive. And that's your Game On update. That's it for us. Next week, more with Clyde Deppner and we'll have the Vikings looking at the Bears returning to Metrodome after two weeks away. Don't forget, get all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. Send us your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Until next week, have a great week and keep your game on.